fucking body talk to my muscle body. No, him. you have not, because we just started, Rex Show. We just started. Welcome to the broadcast. I am Shimon O'Brien, your, you know, your murderer. There, I have uh, I three mean, kidnapped victims right now. Introduce yourself, victims, in the most sad way you can. I'm gonna hit you with this Bowser shell right now. Come on. I'm waiting, bitch. I'll do it when I want to. Okay, then introduce yourself first. Oh wait, I'm Mega Silver 3000. Like whatever. We just and I just introduced myself, so you don't have to do much. Retro, go ahead and introduce yourself right now. That's Retro I'm and over. our last and the last person I kidnapped. Lotario X Gundam. Yes. Can anyway, you get your Gundam to get us out of here. Uh, you cannot. You cannot because I have taken away every method of you getting out of here. I even made sure the door was sealed shut. It's also with what? Up. Flex tape? Yes, flex tape, the most powerful thing in <laughs> existence. Flex tape! Make sure your your friends can't escape you from your murder heist! <laughs> now then, back to what I was saying. I, I would love to see flex tape used in GTA. <laughs> oh my god, that would be funny as fuck. <laughs> That's the funniest shit I've heard today. <laughs> yeah. Hey, CJ! We got, we got it, we're gonna rob these girls, and then we're gonna blow it off! Here! Take what, this! What the, what the hell is this, Smoke? CJ, you haven't heard? It's flex tape! This crap's real! Okay. Oh, oh, hell, oh, hell yeah! Anyway, hey, so, sorry we're getting off topic. <laughs> My, we're off to a great start. So why don't I quickly begin our topic? You know... Last time we actually did talk about Mortal Kombat. You know, it's only fair we talk about fucking Marvel vs. DC. Fuck it, why not? Yeah. Let's start with that instead of Mario. We'll get to Mario in a moment, but... Why don't we, why don't we talk Mario about... Moments. You're, the, you're nice or damn with me doing my favorite hit... 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 Fitching all factions, or no? We, uh, we'll just, we'll start with our topic first. Yeah, well, you, yeah. Topic, 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 topic. Let's just deal with the first topic first. Then we'll deal yeah. with our first topic. <laughs> yeah. So, our, shall I WTF start? Opinions about it. Um, okay. <sighs> Stew's the pig and the bacon's Irish. That is good. I'm pretty sure Don't, don't tell them where we live. Well, I don't you know, should tell them that. I mean, our channel descriptions are only supposed to do that. I mean, let's face it, I literally said in my child description that I'm from Arlant. So, I didn't really say where, though there's that, so... Uh, yeah, well, uh, no, oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm screwed, I said that my trail profile on the piece of island. Anyone ever look at that crap? <laughs> anyway, back no. to where we were, I guess. Uh, so, starting off with... Look, it's not official, but... Again, it's worrisome, right? Yeah. Since, uh, Mr... Ed Boone, look, I don't like to be rude, but, like... He had to just, he just had to bring that tweet up. I mean, I've heard that he talked about it before, but like, it's not good signs. Yeah. And just to remind people who have not seen the poll, which I've already shown it to everyone here, right? Yeah. And whoever's editing this, possibly me or, or Silver, will show it up right now. But he has the civic tweet of, you want Mortal Kombat 12? You want one more in unjustified number three? You want a Marvel game made by Shipram Studios or Marvel vs. DC? You want jobs. And take a guess, what was the winner of that poll? Marvel vs. DC. Correct! Yeah, I can drum up before. before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the le I mean, aside from the fact that Marvel, the Marvel game was the least voted game, which I'm pretty sure, yeah. I'm not sure why they don't do that, but who am I kidding? At this point, though, I don't really see why people think this will be a good idea. I just wonder why. Yeah, like you could, you could make a Marvel vs. DC game by NetherRealm Studios. You could, you could. But why? Why, why, why would you, you do, do that? that? Why would just, you? Why that? would you risk mediocrity? Yeah. I mean, like people say that. I mean, I'm not sure to say like, what good does NetherRealm Studios do again? I'm pretty sure only gameplay is the only thing that's fine. But like, yeah. Even then, I don't feel like I'm playing a good fighting game. I feel like I'm just playing something because it doesn't feel good. Yeah. And yeah, but anyway, you go and talk about story. I'm gonna talk yeah. about animation in a moment. Yeah, I will talk about my biggest problem with NetherRealm Studios, 
the story modes. What the heck? <laughs> I like how you hit me in the face while I was growing up. <laughs> really sorry. I can't believe, I, I can't believe he does. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that video, uh, but it's not fun. It's by accident. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to what you were saying. So, so, Netherrealm Studios aren't the greatest when it comes to telling stories, or they're, they're at least, shit. yeah, or at least that? hiring good writers is that the proper term? Yeah, who might care? Any writers yeah, they, they hire, they're they, doing retro. They, they are being kind when they're saying that about Netherrealm Studios. Keep that in mind. They are being really kind. Yeah. Look, we're not going to pull out our rage because trust me. They I will hope my punches will not be held back in the future. <laughs> they they got an upcoming review now. Throw a whole lot of punches <laughs> at them. Yeah. <laughs> and something. Anyway, but, back to what you were saying. So, um, Mortal Kombat 9's story mode is one of the worst things I've ever had the displeasure of sitting through. Injustice was a game I actually played as a kid, and as a huge DC fanboy, I liked Injustice. But as I grow older, and as of recently, after looking back at the cutscenes, I'm like, why the fuck did I like watching Superman melt a 17-year-old boy's head off? Look, I mean, it's hard to say if he was 17, but it's most likely he was to age up, but... Yeah. Even if, you know, in-game, he's shown to be a child when he's not just him. Yeah. But yeah, why the heck did I like Injustice's story mode? Like, it completely... It, it completely obliterates the characterization of these DC characters. Especially Superman. We'll get more in, into that when Shimoda and I review that game. But, um, yeah. Oh, you forgot someone. Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman is a whore. Welcome to the moon! The only reason that she keeps Superman uh, <coughs> as a dictator is because she wants hit to see his dick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the only reason. Yeah. She's only hungry for his fucking dick. Yeah. Kill her, dick. kill her. Nothing else. Get Ghost Rider to have, do his penance stare on her ass. You know, I would really, you would be fine with that, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Yeah, but still. And to think that they have the best voice actress for it, you yeah. can really not think of a good pitch anymore. Yeah, it, it feels so weird that Netherum Studios can't hire competent writers, but yet they hire good voice actors to voice their characters. Except for the time in Mortal Kombat 11 where they hired fucking Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Really voice? yeah they... She voiced Sonya Blade oh. Oh. in Mortal Kombat 11. She... It was horrible. Oh. I'm thinking about the scene from the old Mortal Kombat film. Work more. <laughs> okay, back to your back to your ending. Talk about Mortal Kombat X or something, I guess. Yeah. Mortal Kombat X's story mode is boring. Injustice 2 story is a little better, but still shite. You haven't revisited in a while, have you? Mm. Um, and uh, Mortal Kombat 11 story mode bad. I want to <laughs> shoot myself. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. I'm fifth. Uh. Mortal Kombat 9, yeah, it's bad, but it's okay-ish in my book. Injustice, that's alright. Injustice, Mortal Kombat X, couldn't give a shit about that one. Injustice 2, couldn't give a shit about that one. Mortal Kombat 11, absolutely dog shite! <laughs> uh, here's, my, here's my basic opinion on this. Nine. I want to hit. I want to stab. I want to cut off my leg instead of it. Listen to this. Injustice. Why do I? Why do this? Why does people think this is good? Yeah. Why? 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 Mortal Kombat X. Stop. <laughs> Stop making Sub Zero not a cyborg. In unjustified sequel two. Why the fuck? <laughs> is you okay. Seven up. Sorry. Wrong five, right? Why the? <laughs> yeah, that's a pain up the hole. Are we gonna have this all day? Sorry. No, no, just Ron Pipe is a pain out of the ass. I hate when that happens. Wait, pipe. Pipe. You only have one pipe. <coughs> <coughs> As I was saying, Injustice 2. It was fine. Why the fuck was Green Arrow there? He had nothing! Yeah. And finally, Mortal Kombat 11. No, wait, no, that's not its right name. I forgot. 
Abstract Horror League number 11. <coughs> you... You should just stop existing. Mortal Kombat 11. You should destroy yourself. Why do I feel like I would like destroy Mortal Kombat 11's instead mm. more than I would love to destroy Mortal Kombat 9's disc? Mm. Because, because Mortal Kombat 11. It is shit! It is shit, it is shiza, it is dark crap! Okay, yeah, basically that's the story. Now you go and talk about how how to fuck it up. Well, so considering Netherrealm Studios' track record in terms of their story modes, how do you think they're gonna do when they bring together two of the most popular superhero properties together for a crossover? Oh wait! How, oh, 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 oh wait! Uh, uh, how do we vote? Do we vote? Yeah, do we vote like uh, who, if anyone thinks it's gonna be good or someone thinks it's gonna be bad? Should we vote like that? Yeah. Hands up if you think they're gonna fuck it up. Majority <laughs> rule, but majority rule, bitches. <laughs> it's gonna be fucked. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, even even though I'm somewhat 50-50 on most NetherRealm Studios games, I still decided to raise my hand because fuck. Why not? <laughs> Although part of me is hoping it's good, part a lot of me is feel like I'm agreeing with you. It's probably going to be dog shit. I mean, yeah. not to mention the worst part by me. Recent Marvel. Yeah. I would it's say a... no. We're fucked. We're just well, fucked. Well, yeah, yeah, garbage. <laughs> we're just fucked. Like we have their own studios. Uh, we're fucked. We have Marvel. We're fucked. I feel uh, like way. Sonic, why do I feel like the MCU should have ended at that Endgame? Because it should have. And Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. On yeah. the way home. That's yeah. And if it ended there, we're good. But it doesn't. And look at the dog piss we're in. Yeah. We're not going to talk about it because who in their right mind would want to? Yeah. Who cares? Yes, a lot of people do because that's how who they get out of the venue. Look, I mean, I know that. Yeah, but like. Who really wants to mentally? No one. No one wants to really talk about it, but they have to explain it to idiots. Back to what I was the saying. Only thing, the only thing, Marvel thing I'm looking forward to now is Guardians 3, and if that's fucked up, it, yeah. if, if they screw that up, they will be hell to pay. We're doomed. <laughs> they're, they're gonna be someone trying to explain the Fortnite dance to Star Lord. Oh, for God's sake. What? I why? 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 I am so strong to who's who, who the person who thinks that's a good idea. You know I'm right. <laughs> I hate the fact that I'm saying it, but I think he's right. Yeah. There's only just one thing I want to say, guys. What? I miss my wife, Tails. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. And tell, I will talk more about its fucking animations! Okay, I swear, how many. Who, who of us four, well, mostly ends up being you three, he bozos, have the tendency to say the most memes? I think it's him, actually, to be honest, actually. <laughs> he kind of actually goes through that. Oh, for God's sake, it's a fucking. It's a fucking standoff here! It's <laughs> like a. You're the imposter! Dude, dude, You're the imposter! Dude, 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 just basically show the picture! How dare, how dare you call How dare show, you point Show the me. picture from the office! No, no, <laughs> show the picture here from like he, Pirates of the Caribbean when they all have their guns oh. at them and just blot our avatar's faces onto them. Uh. Well, your tree says it ends up being you tree and the pointing the fingers. <laughs> I'm just the only one not doing it. Okay, can we. Uh, animation. Can we... This animation is terrible. <laughs> Back to what we were saying anyway. I'm so finished. aside, so anything else about the story, or should we not? They're yeah. dog shit. Look, I don't think look I at me, no honestly, yeah. the, or, the only thing I can really think is that they might not be stupid. They might be stupid enough to think of putting the injustice versions instead of it's weird good for, versions. It's weird for me to say that the only thing I like <coughs> about Mortal Kombat 11 is its character interactions before each fight. I mean, like you know the yeah, when you're the, rival fights. Yeah, to be honest, that's, that's, that's alright. That's the yeah. only thing. But and the, even dead, but the rest. I mean, even it, when it's Apologies. good, but like, yeah, you have fucking Sindel. Oh, Sindel! Go fucking! Whoever decided to change that character should have a shotgun. 
me the shotgun to the face. No, no. Whoever thought of that, you should go. F you should go jump up a fucking building. You brain dead writers, go jump off now. <laughs> well, that's. We're not to Nolan anyone to actually I'm, not, I'm sorry, but like, just... Who in the bright fuck thought this was a good idea? Like, someone should have just been slapped instead, if you want that measure. But I would say slap, but... No, I think they, they deserve that. Punch in the crown jewels. Go old Tony yeah, Chase. Every probably. hot take we have, you get slapped. <laughs> Look, either way, back to what we were saying. I mean, at worst, just saying no. At worst, they could possibly just use the, in, the unjustified version of those characters. And oh, I'm pretty oh sure boy, you know. I am so looking forward to watching Iron Man fight Hitler Superman. Oh, yeah, great. that's what I'm that's saying. That's recipe for disaster. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry, people, but again. Yeah, I know it feels it feels me mean, mean it. I I know it sounds fucked up to say that, but it's it's kind of true. Superman's essentially a dictator in the Injustice games. Think of any kind of any kind of dictator, it will fit. I don't like saying it, but it has to be said. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like fucking Omni Man is like a better evil version of Superman. It's a better fucking version that is not that like DC. And even then, the thing is, he's basically he's evil at the start, <clears throat> but he changes his order course of the series. He changes yeah. into a good-hearted person. Look, I mean, I have not watched. Apologies on spoilers. Look, I have not watched. Invincible or even read the comics. But from what I've seen, he seems more like a justifiable version. Mm. And again, not made by DC. I mean, there is also Homelander, but I don't know what yeah, the I fuck that's is going on. I oh, that guy's that. just a lunatic. He should go die. <laughs> Look, at least at least it's not Superman, so yeah. that's at least a good thing. Yeah, I think he's like a parody of Superman. Because like, he can fly, he's got the laser eyes. Either way, I'm not going to say much second. other than that, but... <laughs> Jesus, like... Now that I think about it, can you really think like they bring in Omni Man with J.K. Simmons voicing him in an Injustice fighting game? Like I would want to. S I don't like like that sentence sounds so wrong. And he's the guy who also who popularized lemons, fucking lemons in in Portal Two. Yeah, that was J.K. Simmons, by the way. So yeah, you heard J. Joel Jameson in Portal. Right, show. I mean, for those of you who don't it. know, Retro has a short-term attention span when it comes to voice actors. He didn't even know that Michael Keaton voiced Chick Hicks and Ken from Toy Story 3. So, can we just get a Superman, I mean, Spider-Man, um, um, movie, and then Jim Jordan is just obsessed with women? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that would be, be, be a funny joke. What the heck?! <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking! Spider- Spider-Man's news reporter talked about lemons before. Oh yeah, that's And sure. possibly- And possibly that mean everyone knows. Think, Mark. Think. <laughs> either way, point saying- Back to my point, anyway, right guys? Look, either way, we agree. The story's gonna be bad. Yeah. Look, I'm pretty sure they might come up with something. They might have one or two good ideas, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be more. A deal with me. Yes, exactly. Mediocrity and quash and one to shoot yourself first instead of tolerating it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the fucking Marvel purists will be there just to make it worse, right? Yeah. You know, every time we talk about moral combat and justice, I feel like we should talk about Sonic instead. But I know you have a lot more to say. <laughs> anyway, I want. Can I? Let's get onto the animation, right? Okay, I'll let you take it away. <clears throat> it's gonna still suck. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better to say. I mean, I'm not sure if the K physics improved in Mortal Kombat 11. Although I really. Although I really fucking doubt it! Mm -hmm. I fucking doubt it. They really didn't improve too much in, in Mortal Kombat 11 from what I've seen. I mean, they can't even do their jumping animations good. Like, you can't just jump without bending your. Fucking knees. Think, Nevin Studios. Think. Think. Think, Nevin Studios. Think. <laughs> like, gonna, again. I swear, we're going to be like the guys well known for bitching out about Mortal Kombat. Hey, yeah. Studios. Yeah. Look, hey, hey I don't he's care. He's grumps, and I'm not so grumps. <laughs> I can't believe that title had to go right there. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, I am. Hey, I am angry. I'm retro. And we're just questioning our life. <laughs> okay, let's continue, I'm, boys. Let's get right. Just... But, yeah. but okay, we can imagine that cave physics for Doctor Strange is not gonna look good because yeah, and it's especially gonna be appalling to look at considering Doctor Strange's cape is a living cape. Yeah, this is gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, yeah this is not gonna. Yeah, that's not gonna end well. Yeah. I mean, there's also like Captain Marvel's little coattail, but like, is that really really important? Nah. Not nah. really, but like, it's still gonna be. But considering the coattails in their studio well, games, they're still there. Yeah. I I think the perfect example is um, Sub Zero's um, fatality with the. Nah, can't. Oh god, don't remind me of that. I mean, I mean, it's even worse when I remember that Shiva's has four arms and her arms just cliff through them again. Mm. I remember that you should, whoever's editing this, please show a clip. You know, if, you know, if it's a podcast, there's not going to be much visuals. Yeah, I know, but still, ugh, why not? We might, we might have them on Audible.com. This video <laughs> was sponsored by us. <laughs> anyway, let's. I'm just making it clear. It's gonna suck. Netherrealm Studios needs either Warner Bros. should just quickly just kick Netherrealm Studios out because God forbid that would be a better choice in their goddamn life. Or B, just hire better animators and better writers. You know, just better anything. I don't care if everyone has to be kicked out for it, but I don't care if someone comes up with good ideas. That will be fine with me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> put, put, Bar put Barney Gumble in the thumbnail. Of course, of course, that's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, <laughs> just a funny joke. It goes Don't from me to you. Don't even have the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but right. look, either way, General Linen. It's gonna be. It's gonna suck like ass. No one and you will and viewers will try and deny it. You may try. You may try. But you can't deny it. Okay. No. Um, Is there? Are we, are we done with this thing? Because I feel like we already kind of retread old ground a bit. Yeah. We kind of did, but like. Let's talk you about want to Mario. emphasize it now? So let's talk about we... Mario. Right. Let's the get Mario. Back to Mario. Oh, actually, let's talk about how Nintendo's forgot about Mario games. What? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's just, are, you, are, you, are you serious? Have you been looking around the internet? I don't people pay attention to Mario much, you know people, that. People, people, Nintendo forgot about Mario just because Pitman 4 was announced. Yeah, pe because Pitman 4 has been announced, keep in mind we waited nearly 10 years for a new Pikmin game. That isn't hate hey, Pikmin, that doesn't count. Uh huh. And because Pikmin 4 gets announced, suddenly Nintendo has already forgotten about Mario. We haven't got a Mario game since Super Mario Odyssey. Newsflash! For 10, 10, 10 thousand years, I really and, wonder where Mario has ran off to. And he kind of died back like in his anniversary, I think. Yeah. Newsflash! Golf appeared. Golf came out. And the yeah. Mario Kart DLC. And, and Strikers. Strikers came out. So let's uh, face it, they haven't forgotten about Mario. They yeah. just do more. Mario's more than just his mainline games, you dickheads. Yeah, I'll be fine for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll be it. I have, I have here, been here not to <coughs> ranting about some of the spin-offs every now and again. I have not played for myself, and I also hate golf anyway. But, dude, come on, man. Anyway, so yeah, Mario's movie. What? Yay! Well, we're gonna find out when the trailer comes out. I am actually so scared to hear Chris Pratt as Mario. Like, I'm so... I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure he's... He's definitely scared. <laughs> Does you shivering like, or something? I like, just I'm sure can't see where... To, I don't see how this might go well. Yeah, like, I'm sure he's not gonna do, just be Chris Pratt voicing Mario. I'm sure he's gonna try and do a voice, but... Yeah, at the same time, I'm I'm kind of scared to hear the voice, and same for Jack, <laughs> Jack Black's Bowser. I love the guy, I th think he's a really talented actor, but every time I think of Bowser and Jack Black, I just think of Bowser with Poe the Panda's voice clips. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I don't know, like, do you think Charlie Day's Luigi might sound alright? He kind of sounds like he might fit. Yeah. But I'm just, again, like, 
why Chris Pat? Like, I'm not saying he's a bad actor, but like, I see the problem with with illuminations. They just keep bringing in the pretty faces. Not to sound yeah. rude, but I'm just saying that. Like, fucking Charlie. Char How do you? I just forgot his last name. Dane. How? Dane. Not Dane. The other one. Mario. Oh, Charles Martinet. Yes. Charles Martinet. Like, what, they have him in the movie, but he's not gonna voice Mario or Luigi, like... Why? Why? Why would you do that? I am not even a big Mario fan, but... Why? I am remaining optimistic until we see, at the very least, something. But I can understand your concern. For one, it's Illumination, and it's a movie that... Movie that has a lot of big names equals money, money, money. Yep. Num number two reason, there was the live action Super Mario Brothers movie, so there's concern from that. Uh, to be honest, like, that was like I, I, 30 well, years ago. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, at least the live action movie is good. I'm sorry. I liked it. Huh. I think it's good. It's bad, it's, it's it's bad Mario adaptation, though. That's all I'm going to say. Well, I'm bad, bad I'll reserve good. for my my opinions until I watch it, but from what I've seen of it, yeah, I think it's something that I'll enjoy. It's cool! It's cool! For the wrong reasons, I have Yeah, plan. yeah. I, lo I like it for the wrong reasons, but if I, if I, if it came out, if I, if I saw it in cinema, I'd probably hate it even more, let's be honest. <laughs> Let me just sit anyway. And, and, number, and number three, Mario in general is probably a really big, um, property and everything, <laughs> so... And you're used to like the games for like here, yeah, so you so you're you're afraid of something different. But at the same time, you also it probably won't be as good if it if it was just the same as the games. So I so I share some the concerns as well, especially the voice actors because I we I never heard of Chris Pratt voice act change his voice <coughs> at all to be honest. Yeah, but but. Oh, what? Let's just hope that Mario. Uh, if, if Mario says, uh, uh, let's. Just, I don't know. I'm just gonna say this in my Mario voice. It's one of Chris Pratt's lines from Infinity War. Go ahead. What the master do I say? What am I supposed to say? A Jesus? Why do I feel like that is just? <laughs> why do I feel like that would just happen in the movie anyway? I don't know. I don't, I don't think that, but I. I don't. They better put in a freaking toaster in the movie. <laughs> a toaster! Uh -huh. I love toasters! Ha uh ha! -huh. So many toasters! Uh, no, no, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Bowser just paused like, Dude. Oh, toast is done! Because you know what I say! All toasters, toast, toast, oh, no, oh, but, I, I would like that. <laughs> now I'm imagining imagine Jack Black <laughs> saying that. Can you just imagine? No, not just him anime, just Jack Black live action. Just like, eat, just go on, just uh, just a oh, comedy. toast! You know what they say? All toasters, toast, toast. I would love All toasters, toast, toast. I would love a sitcom of just Jack Black goofing off to wherever he feels like it. Okay. That'll be the best TV show ever. <laughs> so, uh, back to. Uh, just you didn't let me finish the joke. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. They see so many toasters. Well, you know what they say in Warhammer. What? Fuck some toasters! Alright! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I just I, mean, I just thought I thought why not put that joke? Yeah. Warhammer 40k fans, you know what? That's a joke, that's a fetching, that's a joke out of. Yeah. I don't know the joke, but I like that joke. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure why we were talking about the Mario team because there's not much to talk about in general. Look, I, mean, look, yeah. I, I don't the care, but I will wait. Two weeks, so. <gasps> oh yeah! How about this? Predictions! Yeah, oh my god. The we worst. did we did it for you the know, Sonic 2 movie! Oh, okay. can I just say the worst part right now? Yeah. The worst part about this it's Oh my on October! And it had to be the sixth! The yeah. sixth of the fucking October for me! Why? What's Why? Happening? What's happening to Do you not know your best what Wait, that's his actual birthday! You keep forgetting you! I know it was in October, but I didn't know it was- I forgot, I have a- I have a written down somewhere. Whoa, I'm sorry, but... <laughs> the Mario trailer is coming out on my fucking birthday! Well, I know which house I'm going <laughs> And it has to- Oh my god, you- you- you sound exactly like Final Fantasy X! 
Oh, <laughs> he does! Oh, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> Give me so, a damn break. So, it's not good or bad? <laughs> How do you think I feel? <laughs> okay, Starscream. Oh, screen. <laughs> Retro, do you not know what I feel right now? So we gonna watch on your bus thing? No? No! Why not? It's from Illuminations, you... Oh, fuck's sake, did you not get the hint from the room here? This door clearly says... No, don't say yes to Illuminations. Did you not see it? It was written clearly with, with paint. Uh, I painted over it. <laughs> Now it says subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Damn it. If only people could subscribe right now. Predictions. Give us more subscribers. We need them. All right. All right. All right. Let's get back to the predictions, please. I want to get this okay. out of the way. Okay. Positive prediction. They tie in. They tie in New Dunk City as a small bit of the origin story. It's it's not going to be Mario was in real world New York, then he went to Mushroom Kingdom. It was. It was it be it would be Mario as tiny baby. Then it will show him his first defeat of defeating Donkey Kong and saving Pauline in New Dark City. And then he saved Princess Peach again and again and again and again. That would Why be do I that would like that? that would how it would open. I feel like that. Li I feel like that's not gonna how it's gonna happen. And then and how would the Nintendo? But we should also predict. How the Nintendo logo will look like, you know, like with Sega and how they did the logo in the movie. How do you think they would Nintendo would do their logo? Did you not see the Pikachu movie? Fair enough. Silver, please give me a prediction. I, <laughs> I, 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 I am I'm grasping with jaws for negative ones right now. Actually, my prediction is simple. Bowser kidnaps Princess Peach. Mario will draw Sonic for us to save her. That's what I really feel like. It's just gonna happen. It's not gonna be. It's gonna show his entire adventure or many years. It's just gonna be one event. It's gonna be like no, an origin story, I, really. I, feel, I don't. I feel like that'd be a weird way of doing this because we all know Mario. Yeah, but like, now that but that's the thing that show. You know Mario. Most of us know Mario because we're gamers. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be talking about a movie. Not every person who. Who watches movies know Mario's every story, I'm, and I'm, yeah, they might maybe they might know about it, but how would they know everything? I don't know everything about Spider-Man. What's your points? My point saying is, I really doubt they will show that Mario has saved Peach over and over and over again. It's more likely going to be an origin story of when he first. Can Peach. we place bets? Oh yeah, I have oh a prediction. Oh my god, no! <laughs> we are placing bets. <laughs> I have a prediction that will probably be. Accurate. Yep. And before the trailer starts, they're gonna show the Illumination logo as they always do. Oh, yeah, with all the trailers. And it's gonna be and something like that. They're gonna show minions wearing Mario co character outfits. Yes, they will. I'll be shooting myself the moment that happens. I'm not with my arm. With I'll my arm getting shot. I'm gonna be I'll be surprised if that didn't happen. Yeah. They shove them everywhere. Of course they do that. Yeah, I'm anyway. Either way, anything Oh yeah, right, my prediction. Aside from the origins, which I know that's gonna be the thing, you will probably be wrong, but I'm not placing bets. Little bitch. Thank you. Anyway, I'm just gonna say it now, but uh, I'm pretty sure that it's it's gonna suck. Yeah. I'm sorry, but like, it's gonna suck! Wow. It's Illumination, it's like... I don't know how to say it, like, yeah, Nintendo Studio sucks. They suck at animating for fighting games or anything really in general. But Illumination, like they have a decent one, but the worst problem is that they really don't make characters feel like they stand out from each other. Yeah. Their animations feel like they're the same for every character. Same speed, same everything. Really, that's the best way to say it. Is that the right way to say it? I mean I mean I'm not an expert, but I'm just saying it feels like that's everyone in that in Illumination movies. <coughs> yeah. Uh, anything else you wanna say? I feel like that's usually- I got nothing else to add. I feel like that's usually the case half the time with some animation studios. Oh. No, they do like, like at least care- Like some movies, characters move in different speed- like, they, their animation feels like they move in at different speeds because it reflects them, not just, oh, that's how it works. I'm just saying, but like, you can't just make a character that was supposed to be like, let's say, so big and tall. 
Like, he should be so menacing. He should be given an aura, a slow walk, possibly like that. Give that cat, feel. Which cats are you thinking about? I'm gonna give an example, Retro. Okay. Welcome to class. <laughs> you just can't just suddenly have a character that who's possibly gonna be so intimidating and just suddenly move like a goofball, like... You know, I would love to see Bowser go like that. I mean, uh, I don't really think it'll make sense really at all, like, he's... he's I, I like Bowser, he's, he's menacing, but he's cute. He's always been like that. I know that, like, he's still menacing. He's still... I hope he stays menacing, let's not be honest, but... I, the whole, I hope there's some goofiness in there. You know, actually, at this point, I feel like we're kind of done with this, aren't we? Oh, wait, one more thing. Yep. Do you think they're gonna change the character designs? We... I don't I probably. want to say no. I hope um, Nintendo is not going to do something as stupid as that. Well, Nintendo, who is looking at the one doing it, unlike he last time, so they're probably they're probably not going to let he get character change or anything. Yeah. Probably not too much. Maybe like they get okay. general outfits. Okay. Here's yeah, a ten. Here's a ten. If the if the movie turns out to be really good, maybe this could open an eye for Illuminations. Maybe maybe they can change their ways after this one. After learning from a lot from Nintendo. Why do Maybe? I feel like that? Why do I feel like... It's a lot unlikely, but that'd be a great feeling. It will be a great feeling, but... Come on, we all know it's not gonna happen, right? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, but we just know it. Like, we could talk about Sonic Frontiers right now, but I want to let Lucario X get to his topic now. Because he, he's been kind of holding it off, I think. If he remembers it. Yeah, So, yeah. take center stage, my friend! Uh, basically, our thing, though, is that we're all talking about stuff, and I'm feeling like talking about something, and I like him. He'd basically be my favorite fictional faction, so to speak. You know, Dread Army, stuff like that. Oh. Mostly he from series I like, like Warhammer 40k, Battletech, Command and Conquer. Let's, I think the art, I love the art, I give a sh don't give a shit about the others. Meaning, I love Command and Conquer, fuck you, EA. <laughs> <laughs> that, is the, that, is, that is in general what EA is, I mean... They did make Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, also. I, I like uh, Star Trek. Oh, wait, wait. Right. I, I forgot to mention. No, no. I meant to say murderous Alice in Wonderland. Well. I'm not joking about that. There's like an Alice in Wonderland that is fucked up. I love that idea. Well, yeah. As well as that, also, mm -hmm. like Starcraft, fuck you, Blizzard. There's so many companies I just want to say fuck you. Yeah. Where them be well, them? maybe not Sega, and I'm not sure about Sega too much, like, maybe Sonic Team, but yeah, Sonic, not, yeah. Son not Sega Sonic in general. Team with Sonic, actually Sega on Sonic Team with Sonic. Yeah. Sonic hey. Team with Sonic. So, maybe let's just talk about Sonic Frontiers now. Oh, wait, that was it? That was it? Or you going to be done? I was just basically saying... Oh, bingo! Oh, you're kind of, you're almost like, you're kind of quiet. You were okay. not really getting back in topic, remember? I was, you guys were too busy talking, I was just letting you guys talk before I continue, so... Basically... Well, if that's the case, continue, please. Yeah, I'm basically... Not, I'm bad at this, so. I wouldn't hear what... I wouldn't hear... Uh, just not to waste more time than we probably are, but basically I'm just doing a list off of a few of my favorite at once. Also, uh, whoever's uh, ending this can at least show their symbols or something. Uh, uh, let's uh, see, yeah, uh, I guess. Okay, the shit. We'll see, uh, right? Okay. Probably. Anyways, basically, GDI from Command and Taunter, her Empire from the Red Sun from Red Alert Tree, the Tau Empire, her from uh, Warhammer 40k, slash uh, Space Marine, He's from Warhammer 40k, he as well well as the orcs from it too. Starcraft with his Terrans, um yeah, I think that's about it. Oh wait, okay. I'm afraid I forgot to cheat two more two more. Okay. How save the young pun and in plan dose bear from Battletech. Alright, nice. Yeah, so okay. nice. This will be fun to research some stuff. Possibly for up for whoever's doing it. Uh <laughs> except Retro sure, probably because he's not gonna be really doing this. I'm pretty Someone's sure Red Joe's computer is going to die anyway at that point. I don't know, let's face it, it's these two symbols right over there. Oh, go out, L and G. Yeah, G. Jesus G. Christ, it's G. Retro Mini Me. Yo, G. is there, How Save Young's there, Empire of Red Sun's there. Wait, 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 Retro, wait, Retro. Uh, Smash Bros. logo. Yeah, I'm just doing some. Spicing up the room here, okay? Retro, retro. You know, you know, if this was the 80s, people would think your rooms are cold. <laughs> retro, 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 retro. Oh, my, can you see Funs? Funs, funk in the face. Retro, 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 retro. Retro. Hey, say your line. 
Say that one line you did before when I and then I remember that I sponsored you. Oh, but it was funny. Oh, wait. Remember when you did? Okay, Retro. seriously, this is sounded like that Simpsons meme. It's, jo it's Johnny. Retro, remember when you did Johnny? No. You don't remember here. Here's Retro. You I, forgot. Now really I much, remember now. Not really much. Feel like that meme would have fit well at this part of the whole chat, considering. We know oh, he's there, so him saying how it. How did you forget it? I met a response video where I said, Jesus Christ, that's Retro Mini Me. You forgot it. Is you it? forgot it. Well, I'm a million, and I can remember every minor detail. Let me. <laughs> you remember every time of the wildlife. Well, you remember I saying that. I am a strong magician. You do remember. Look, I am a strong magician. That's why you're a fantastic. Yes. <laughs> and, you, and then I met a response video called, Jesus Christ, that's literally me. Alright. I thought you were talking about a different one. Oh what were you saying, look how you have side? I was basically saying that, you know, and I feel like, Pete, you do remember it, you just don't give a shit. Probably. Trump, All that's right. probably you. Alright, people. Sonic! Sonic! I, I'm sorry, I just can't be. <coughs> not Sonic? Coming right out! <laughs> Alright, the silver room. I'm talking about Sonic. <laughs> okay. All right, Retro, go ahead and talk with your, your, your depression okay. speech. Okay, so, um, before you start, <laughs> I kind of find it funny that you're still a little bit optimistic for Illuminations Mario, but you're not as optimistic for Frontier. I was op I was optimistic for Sonic Frontiers until I saw it. And, yeah, let's- I, I'm gonna be fair, you can't judge something that you can't see. And, and it's usually- Are you that blind? Hate. You can't. I didn't. I'm saying that with my movie. I'm not. I'm gonna stay somewhat optimistic because until something's shown. Yeah. Then I can make a lot more judgments. Probably a bit more because compared from a movie compared to a game. But prepare for Ars. Prepare for Arceus's judgment. Yeah. Now get to. Now let's hear yeah. why you're being such a bitch about Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I just can't, even even if I try, I just can't get hyped for this at, at all. I was hoping that it would get better, I mean, there are parts that get better, so I like Super Sonic, I feel like at least maybe there's gonna be something happening. Did you not see some of the trailers that involve Super Sonic? Yeah, I saw, that's why I said I saw Super Sonic. Okay. Hey look, Super Sonic's back, hooray! Yeah, again. I just did that sarcastically because yeah. honestly, I couldn't give a shit about Frontiers. Yeah. No offense to you guys. I'll take it. I'm not too super- I'm not too shocked, I mean, even if Sonic was DLC and forces, I would not too surprised, I mean, after, I mean, once Sonic Colors came out, Super Sonic was more or less consistent now, so I'm not too surprised. But, it, but we'll see. It, I, now that I think about it, Super Sonic in an open world, that seems like fun. Yeah. You know, Did you not speak about the game at this point? Yeah. yeah. I also, I'm also have a feeling the story will actually be good for once. Yeah, yeah. let's face it, the guy who does is the story for Sonic Frontiers is the guy who does the IDW comics and yeah. made hair and people like that, so... Yeah. yeah. And, and I do think the game look, visually looks pretty good. And I and it sounds I know it's good, but it still sounds alright. It's just a preference more than anything. Alright, get alright, stop sugarcoating it. It just looks so it just looks like I'm not gonna have much fun with it. I mean I'm gonna have fun running around, but once I get bored of that, I don't see how I can have much fun with the others. Cyberspace looks generic as it looks exact the level design looks exactly like forces. I mean, maybe a little bit of step above forces, because you don't have to go in a straight line for as long, but it's essentially still a straight line, and doesn't seem much challenging. Any of the any of the service space we've ever seen, if all if all been about one or two minutes, and I'm and I'm not. Isn't too that generation? Isn't that with some generation levels as well? Uh, the, uh, the generation is so short, uh, shorter, especially shorter than Unleash. Let's be honest, but. I don't know, I still have, I don't, I don't know, they don't feel as short, it's, it's still, it, maybe the first part is short, like Dreamy Hills, of course it's going to be short, but I see, I, I, some of the others aren't as short really, and they seem to be pretty, and the very least the level design is pretty fun, 
all of this, all the levels I've seen on Frontiers are literally just one minute. Generations, like, don't, the only times I see these generations have actual levels is probably Green Hill Zone. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Why are they- I can't believe it! They just keep reusing the same thing again. Not only that, they're, they're reusing just generation assets. It's literally just generations! <laughs> Green Hill Zone, Chemical Plant, Sky Sanctuary, and there's even um, City Escape. People, for whatever reason, people kept thinking it was Speed Highway. You fucking idiots! Hey, Retro, it's there City is, Escape! We haven't seen City Escape. And we've, seen, we've seen a level that is literally just rips off City Escape. It's. How? It's, it's look. It looks different. It doesn't. I don't know what the you're level, talking about. The level assets are literally the same. Okay, yeah, but like. You can't just call it. You can't just call a stage that doesn't look at City Escape. City Escape! <clears throat> It's literally city escape. I'm not to mention. Silver, so are, are you? Do you think he's gone crazy at this point? And I'm not gonna comment since I haven't seen the city escape level. And not only that, it's been officially <coughs> confirmed that the science base are literally pulled from Sonic's memories. That's the excuse they're going for. Look, I don't, I don't care at the point. So the cyberspace aren't really going to be much fun anyway. I mean, I know it's supposed how do you, to be. A, but how do you how do you know that? Just ask. I'm just I asking. Don't, I don't. ask you this question. I don't. What if they make What if they make it harder each with each new one you find? What they bet What they better? I'm saying from what I've seen. All that's all I can say. I'm still going to be somewhat optimistic. I'm just saying all of my concerns, like you are with with the Mario movie. All right. But the Mario movie is going to be in the way of the nation, but of course we have the right to make it. Sonic, it's going to shift. Sonic Team is being made by Sonic Team. What's your point? Really? <laughs> they haven't been doing very good since generations. I'm just. I'm they met Puyo Puyo Tetris. You can't just swear to that now. You can't just swear to the fact that they also made Puyo Puyo. And that hasn't been doing bad. I so, would be so, so ha! I would be impressed if someone made it. saying that, honestly, I'm the only one here who somewhat 50 50 couldn't really care about both. To be honest, I'm like- Stay all this! <laughs> this is not- this is our conversation. This is between me and Retro. We're having war right now. Look, I don't even know how you support how one would be even able to make Tetris bad. It's Tetris! It's gonna be the it same wasn't. game anyway. I mean, to be fair, Ubisoft did it. They did? They did? Yeah. Te yeah, Ubisoft achieved something called <laughs> making Tetris bad. This I have to see. Yeah, yeah I'll show next, you the top end list. Yeah, but anyway, fine. back to what I was saying. But how? But again, my point stands. Yes, it, it's Sonic Team has a weird history, but can you really say that with Poyo Poyo at the side, since that's also another thing that's meant by Sonic I'm, Team? Yeah, I'm and saying Sonic Team with Sonic anyway. And okay. at least Sonic Team have made they made a lot of good stuff. Where it's Illumination. Oh, they've only made like what one fucking good movie? I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, and one Despicable one. Me Too. What? And Despicable Me Too. I liked it. It wasn't as good. It was pretty good. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, it was, it was fucking fine. It was, like, it was yeah. really that good. Yeah, it was, it was fine. But, um, yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like below the first one, really. Mm. When it should have been better. Yeah. But like, who am I kidding? That's illumination for you. Yeah, with a sequel, you'd expect it to be better. The last, the last game I can say it's overall good. Even Sonic Hills, I can't say it's completely overall good. Because uh, there are, are Let me issues. guess, you're about to say it's Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, actually. Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2, I like less I like less than half the game. I like Sonic's portion, and that's about it. And shout out if you want to be honest. Should we punch him in the face? You know, for some reason, I want to break his bones. Yeah, I feel, I feel like the problem is, is that... I feel like the problem with Sonic Team and everything is like, like yeah, so yeah. I feel like I just when people say when they always make a new song, it's like we need to make something different just so it could be a bit more different to the Sonic games, and then that usually doesn't end up there, right? Because it it just whether it's like a warehog, no offense, or the or the um the customizational characters. Or the other characters in Sonic Adventure that people have been complaining about since the beginning. Sometimes, heck, you don't even like the West. I I feel like I feel like 
that I feel like they do they just stay out of the way enough. But I feel like the missing to be point, one game only. Yeah. yeah. I feel I feel like they need to make it I feel like they need to make the whole game feel more like Sonic rather than trying to do something very different. Because I'm not I'm not saying you should keep doing the same thing over and over and over again because that'll get bored. Every now and again change it up. Every now and again. Because <laughs> with Mario, it's usually it's usually more consistent, but it all still feels like Mario at the very least. Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Galaxy, Mario 64, 3D Land, the first two new Super Mario Bros. games, even the even the old ones in the new Super Mario Bros. line. They they honestly feel a bit worn, but but even but even though the create creativity is not there, you can still have fun at the very least. I do not I am not very too sure about um Bed the Cats, but I feel like it would have been good if they programmed a bit better. Um, I do I am not a fan of Amy. I am I am split on on Omega not Omega Gamma and Sonic Adventure Two. They 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 kind of screwed up Knuckles a lot, really. If I'm gonna be honest, it still felt yeah. a bit more like Sonic, but they kind of made it a bit worse since Adventure One. I I just don't have any fun with the shooting game stuff, and uh, it feels like it's more of those than uh, of Sonic. But Sonic Heroes, I'm gonna be honest, it's more consistent as a good game. But I gotta be honest, I I don't think I'd like to see the team mechanic return again. That would not be a good idea. I still had fun, but it's just not it's not as fun as Sonic usually is. But it feels like a more overall better game. You just reloading every single time. <laughs> and and then and then we get to the boost games. And even even if I have my favorite like generations, each one of them does something wrong with it at the very least. Unleash Unleash, even if you take the Warehog out, it's, it, you can make the excuse saying they need some touching up here that like the medals and the boost buttons and I'm not a fan of Warehog, I'm sorry, but it's, I feel like I, I feel like I like Unleash somewhat a bit better than Sonic Adventure 2, but it's back, back and forth really. Do I like boost gameplay better or do I like Sonic, Sonic Adventure gameplay better? Sonic Colors, let's be honest, it's Let's be honest, as H goes by, it's not as good anymore. But it feels a little bit more consistent. Generation is the best consistent because we were familiar with the classic gameplay, even if it doesn't feel completely the same. The physics and, and Love Sun is perfect in Boost One. They just lack the originality, if I'm gonna be honest. Forces, I was really hoping it would be the best Boost game ever to, to make sure I iron out every single one of those flaws. And they messed up every turn. Mm -hmm. And Sonic Force, Sonic Frontiers, it feels like they're trying to take the best parts of all the games that's popular and and try to make put it into the one game, but it's not as good. And from what I'd like to, exp I think I might like Exploring Sonic, but I feel like I bet I would probably enjoy Breath of the Wild more. If I wanted to play the Boost games, if I want to play the Cyberspace ones, I just play Generations or even Sonic Unleashed. The combo one. I could probably just play any other combo one. I play I play Sonic Unleashed because at the very least I can enjoy even if I even if I hated the Warehog a lot more, I still enjoy the boost ones anyway. And even if I was just to take and let's just say by the fact that uh, uh, Unleashed is, is the worst game ever, it's fine. I play I play some of the other beat 'em up games anyway. And the puzzles. I play literally any other game that fits that team. You done yet? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. 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 You point. bitch. Now, We're now, 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 you're, you. now your death sentence shall be carried out. <laughs> I like how you had you know the what? Decision for Just for that. While you're in that speech, there'll be an image of me and him holding our guns while he is just busy, and you are just. And you're just cowering in fear. Yeah, I feel yeah. Cyberspace is going to be bad. It's just going to be boring in a bad level design. Unless, unless, my, unless the combat would just be just the same old, same old, nothing interesting. Even if it's good, it doesn't feel like there's going to be much going on. There's going to be the exploring will get boring after a while. I can play Spider-Man PS4 over that. It felt like you were talking for hours, but for some reason, it didn't feel like it. 
It and, wasn't. And the puzzles, I don't think it's gonna fit Sonic as well, unless the fast paced puzzles and everything, but I, but from what I've seen, all we see is blocks, like buttons, the blue buttons, and you just put in a mobile app. Screw IGN! You done? I really want this game to be good though. So, uh, should you or should I begin the speech? You begin. Stolly wants to go, you're just you're just fucking wrong. You're just fucking wrong, you little boy. Just let me just ask you a real good question. We only seen a small bit of the cyberspace levels. Imagine. A small bit. Oh, I hope it's a small bit if I'm gonna be honest. Look, I'm basing this all of what I've seen. I'm not saying, oh, this is definitely gonna be a bad Sonic game. I could be wrong, and this is all in the beginning, and I'm hoping it's all in the beginning. Besides, didn't you hear you? You remember the fact that it was from a 20, at least as he said, 20 hours to 30 hours. I hope so. Which could mean that again, the cyber levels could get good as the game goes I on. I hope so. I look, I hope so. I want this to be good. I'm basing this all of what I've seen, okay? I'm saying it will be bad. I'm just scared it would be. Okay. And hey, at least the game, you said the game was going to be 20 to 30 hours. I hope, I just hope, so, I just, at least 30 something. Hours. I hope so. Unlike, unlike Forces, which was like, less than 3 hours. I hope so, but at the same time, they didn't announce Forces being 4 hours. <laughs> we'll see, this is based on, this is based on what, what the creator said, so we'll see about that. Let's just hope it's going to be good, because I've seen playtests, I've seen videos of playtests, and and it's so too easy to get the asterisks as well, really. Look, I mean, that's also the problem with Jerry's stuff. I, will, I yeah. will say this. The, they do have the drop dash in Frontiers, and that does look like fun. Okay, now then, uh, how much further can I go on and talk about it? Uh, question, Retro, like, just tell me. I just want to question one specific statement. Hey, hey, guys, I'm back here from my little trip in the mirror world. What did I miss? Not <laughs> Joel. You come on. I just, I just almost, I just destroyed the last mirror to find you. And you're telling me that there was a mirror behind that fridge and you just came out of it? That's gonna cost us some money now. You know, I look forward to when we all have to do Kirby and Amazing Mirror with you. I'll get you all Game Boys and a copy of Kirby again. Can I play Kirby Puffet now? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, let's, let's play Kirby Buffet! I don't know We have to wait for this thing to be over. Remember? No, we don't. Let's talk about Kirby. <laughs> let's get, just get back to your statement, though. I'm done. Your statement was, if I if I hope I correct, correctly state this, Sonic Free and Knuckles was the last good Sonic game. Is no, that right? No, that's not that's a, that's that's not, that's my That's not my claim at all. If we're gonna be honest, the last good Sonic game would be Sonic Mania. Let's, let's face it. He may, he may have problems with Sonic Frontier, but he isn't as shit as when it comes when it comes to opinions as a certain an IGN. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm right. pretty sure. That, I, mean, I mean, hey, you could, be, you could be that Switch Force guy. Yeah. yeah. Let me, oh, let me, yeah, that's let me. Sure. No, I'm not that saying that, but I'm just saying that claim you said something, something like that yeah. before. Let, let, me, let me just re-ex- let me just re-explain re that. I'm saying it's good, consistent from start to end, to end. Like, everything about it is good. Okay, but not- But from, from the Sonic team as well, but even with many of you can say something about it. I'm saying that because like this, with all the updates, there's all- it's, there's always something important about for me the best Sonic game. There's always, at the very least, something. But Sonic and Knuckles, together, let's be honest, together. Yeah. It, I feel like that's the last great, great Sonic game. Now then, how many? Overall, overall, Sonic, there's, there's something more, there's, there's a little bit more with Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. All of the boost games, if I'm gonna be honest. I love that Mania. I'm not gonna lie, CD, if you want me to just. I like, myself. I like Unleashed. How did and Black Knight? I can't, yeah, I like, believe, you, I I can't like, believe you destroyed Mania for some reason. Well, I'm, let's be let's be honest. As great as it is, I probably feel like we needed a little bit more original stuff and levels in there. It's still it's still fun. amazing. It's still very very amazing, and I'm happy it came out at all. And I'm glad they got DLC for us. What Mighty and Ray, who yeah. have haven't appeared in a long time. Yeah. I, yeah, but if I but if, but I have to look at a game with an overall pain and and pick apart everything, even 
even let's be honest, when I reviewed Eco the Dolphin, there was still one thing I good I had to say about it, and that was the visuals. Look, I'm not trying to say you're overall negative, but yeah, I'm that, that's I'm saying because with Sonic Three and Knuckles, I barely I could barely find anything bad to say about it. Say, I yeah. wanna hey, can we talk anyway, Silver? You wanna talk about Jim? You talk about Alicia Roll, please. Hey, uh, two question. Do you guys have any heat meat here? My hot dragon is being a bit hungry. You have a dragon now? Yes, I do. That's why I got every time we met Common Rider. You know, so, to be honest, you can transform, you have a transformer, and you got a transformer dragon. It's a dum dum, not a transformer! Uh, How many times do I have to say it to your bloody heads? Kind of, now, at this point, I think it's kind of interesting. It kind of feels nearly the same, really, at this point. Although, funny thing, though, oh, it's lucky I chose. Luckily, I am Ryuki and not some other one, because some common writers can be OP as fuck! OP as fuck! Decayed and Zio! Anyway, so. Who is it? Anyway, who is this, by the way? Uh, not mine. Not mine! I, I put mine in bed. I swear mine is empty. Well, We're talking about stepping up, by the way, people. This one's mine. Like, this. <laughs> Well, whoever has yeah. it, I guess. Yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry, um, I'm, I'm You sorry. wanted me to talk about Unleashed? I mean, yeah, because Retro, why don't you I'm not, start? look, look, I respect your opinion. I'm I'm saying as overall, because overall, I know people, oh. people, some people don't like this, other people don't like that. Too. I feel like I'll be the old lace guy here who probably punched someone in the face because of their opinion. Opinions are opinions. Yeah. I'm just saying, but I'm just saying it, though, I feel I can't agree with it. Look, I don't want to sound like a bitch, but I have to be a bitch because I can't agree with your damn opinion. With the risk of making this a bit longer, you talk about Unleash, then you talk about your opinions on Sonic Frontiers. How about that? I don't, I don't think I did. He, he didn't get to do that either. Yeah, I said he talked about Alright, let me just, let me just make it clear first. Sonic Adventure. I fucking love that, and I, and I will agree, there are flaws, I mean, yeah. to be fair, I mean, yeah, Eggman and Tails is a ear thing is a bit of an issue, but I still think it's at least a fun section to play once in a while. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, but... I, and Sonic and Show, they're good. Yeah, definitely. Knuckles and Rouge, like, no, they're not really no. that great. I mean, other, other than that, I mean, I mean, I would say that, I mean, you have a point, it's not the best, yeah. but I mean, like, compared to Adventure 1, I think... Like, it's alright. Yeah, I'm saying about there, there are things that hold them back, even in the slightest. I'm not yeah, saying I that they're I think Sales and Knuckles, are, is their stages, they're fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like they would be fine, but I feel like it's too many of those levels. And it gets annoying as well. I feel like, I think it's just to do with controls than anything. You guys talking about Adventure 2? I yeah. don't know what I'm talking about with Sonic. <laughs> We're talking about Sonic! So. And I will agree that the treasure hunting levels are worse, but okay, so I it still is Adventure find them too. Well, Adventure right. series anyway. Yeah. I still find them uh, uh, tolerable. I just can't do it. Except for the last level. But I'm sorry, but the last level is the only thing I will give an exception to. Yeah. yeah the la not, the last not, two yeah. levels. Fuck off, Sonic Team. Yeah. I sh you should have just made it easier, but no, you just had to make it. Mario Galaxy before it existed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah my Mad Space is the only level in the game that I it's strongly dislike. No, no, just wanna yeah, say I feel like yeah, the, just a, my just a heads up, people. I hey, ba I haven't played the Adventure series, so I have no comment on it. Oh, that's about a change. Let's play. <laughs> yeah, that will be a change. Yeah, but for now, for now at least. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, anyway, I mean, it's the generator really is my issue. That's that really does break, make or break the game. Anyway, I will say this though. Yeah. I just want to make it clear. Look, honestly, Sonic Adventure 2 has a good story. That's the best thing I think. It, it's, that's its best aspect. It's a yeah. good story, but dear God, it gets so confusing. It's not that confusing. Retro, not it's not really that confusing because honestly, if I, I'm gonna dare say this. But Shit Combat 9 story is more complicated yeah. than that. I'm not gonna deny that, but I'm, and this is just my opinion. I'm not gonna deny that. Every he, he, every um, story that revolves about time travel is complicated as fuck! Yeah. Um, well, I was yeah, talking about Sonic Adventure 2, not, not, and talking about Sonic Adventure 2 is kind of good at story. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just saying about oh, I'm, just, I'm just saying about oh, oh, stories with time travel. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I like it, uh, I'm not saying I'm not oh. saying it is bad. Let's be honest, there are a lot worse stories. I'm yeah. fine. I do enjoy a good few outfits. 
I just I just feel like they could be a little bit more posh in this toy. Then again, you could play uh, Sonic Adventure One, and you that, could question that, the story where every how everything makes sense. Just saying that. I don't. I don't I'm not know. saying they're bad. I, I, don't, I feel. I feel like I like Sonic Adventures One stories a bit better, mostly just for the backstory stuff. I'm good. I'm not gonna show code that I like backstories on the Chaos Emerald, Mass Emerald stuff. The kid that tried. I like that bit. It does get a bit confusing. I feel the main reason it gets confusing is because different stories from different characters. I feel, like, I feel, I feel, I feel like, like that's more confusing than Sonic Adventure 2, really, actually. Yeah, it's more confusing, <laughs> but I feel like the main bit that confuses me is is which is canon, which ending is canon for the player. Uh, does, Sonic, does Sonic destroy the canon, or does Eggman put Chaos Emerald in there? What? Which, which one made it through? I understand. Uh, yeah, the the the. That part, I will admit, is kind of confusing. Like, uh, the hero... Here, you want now again? So, you know in the hero ending, Sonic blows up the cannon, but in the... Uh, dark... We're talking about Sonic Adventure 1. God damn it! Oh. Sonic Adventure... How do you keep doing this, Retro? I said, I'm, I'm talking about Sonic Adventure 2. I'm okay, saying... Well, look, we agree. That is very confusing. Yeah, I would like that, to that's, see... That's, that's usually what I'm trying to talk about, really, more than anything. Which is more canon. I mean, it doesn't have... I feel like if you're gonna have multiple stories, don't put a true end there. Look, I mean, I'm not saying... I don't think it's real. I mean, I think it's clear though, like... I think it's kind of clear. Just telling you that in my personal headcanon, just saying it, I know headcanons aren't the best thing in the world, people, because everyone has it. But in my personal headcanon for Sonic Adventure 2, I think both the hero and the dark ending happen both at the same time, somewhat. So... I'm saying so, somewhat. Yeah, but... I would like the thing as well, but that's really hard to think about. That mean that would mean that Sonic put the Chaos Emerald in the cannon and it blew up, and then Eggman took the Chaos Emerald out there, and then put the real Emerald back in, and the cannon is somehow fixed or something like that. Wasn't I don't know. I mean, but then again, Retro wasn't Sonic outside of the damn control room. Yeah. So how would he have just, how would he have kind of, I don't know, like, I know it, it's confusing as hell, the, the fake emerald, but like... I feel, I, I feel actually, like... at this point, yeah, you got a good point. Yeah, actually, see, you see what I mean. So I think Look, it, I'm not saying it's bad, but I, but I think you got a point. Yeah, it's confusing as fuck. Yeah. But anyway, just saying, you know what you know, I'm starting to think otherwise, actually, Retro. Maybe you have some points, actually, anymore. Although You're welcome. I, I will say, though, the same. And it's not bad. It it's has not bad, but that's Sonic Tree and Knuckles is mostly the less less problematic one because it has less issues. Really. Yeah, yeah. That, that's my. Sorry, favorite. but like you talk, you know what? No, let's. I feel like we're prolonging this too long, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> so let's just skip. I guess we're gonna have to skip your Unleashed opinions, right? Or I, we, I love Unleashed because gonna... it has more originality. Yeah, make the story short. Both of us love yeah. Sonic Unleashed. Yeah. And All I right. also like Sonic in the Black Knight. Yeah. I so like why don't we talk? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say even if even a storybook says is a worse than Zelda, which they're not, unless you count Secret Rims. I'm sorry. Mm. I mean, party mode. I mean, party mode. That... But what about party mode? Yeah, that's. You know, actually, I You know, I wonder. Like, will Sega ever attempt to do another Sonic party? No. Why not? Because they. Probably wouldn't care to. But I uh, you know, they can, yeah, probably. But, uh, but then again, they did care about making it Sonic Racing, remember? It'd be interesting if somewhat. they end up thinking of doing a party, but it ends up being like Mario and Sonic party. <clears throat> that would be and, Anyway, um, I'm saying I'm not wouldn't be upset even if it was bad because it's considered a side series, not rather than a main series. We've been going at this for an hour and eight minutes. It's fine. It's not that bad, right? It's not although as bad I'm as pretty five sure, hours. Although, I'm pretty sure at this point, really, it's confusing. Like we first started off saying that that your opinion is wrong, and I am a bitch, and I am a petty bitch. I think I'm petty at this point, right? Wasn't I? I was a petty bitch. Look, I'm. Look, I'm, look, I'm just... <laughs> he doesn't want to say the wrong answer. Whatever it is. Look, you don't need. Look, there's no such thing as wrong answer. I am. I'm just an asshole, a jackass. I'm everything. Aren't I? Yeah. yeah. I am everything that I am the reason why I call you the old man, and you're the reason you call me douchebag. Alright, douchebag. So, Sonic Fr you guys, guys, Sonic Frontier's um, opinions from what you've seen so far. Uh, Look, it'll be enough. I'll be saying it bluntly. Yes, the story looks like it's promising, but yeah, it's promising, but I'm not. Sh but I still have to check it because 
I already know that he probably is only doing the character writing though. Well, yeah, that's actually another thing to fuck up. Oh, no. I'm not saying he's going to be bad, but he ain't Roger Craig Smith, he doesn't. He sounds like he's not really trying as much anymore, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure how to feel about that. And uh, I'm not sure if it's a good or bad feeling. I, I kind of, I kind of felt that his voice direction was a little better. I mean, I want to say it's fine, but I'm, but there's something telling me. I mean, don't get me wrong. This I, feels off. Don't get me wrong. It's no more song voice. It's not the greatest one. It's not but the I'm not best, sure. but it's not certainly the worst. I think. Yeah, but I'm not sure how I feel. But he, he doesn't sound as Sonic, but he doesn't really sound like Sonic then at all. I think I have, I did, ha I have been getting much clear audio. If I'm gonna be honest. Mm. Okay, look, we like, but I'm saying again that the character writing is mostly gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm not sure right. if. It's the writing in general will be perfect because that's the well, thing. We'll see, but for what I've seen, he did a pretty good job. <laughs> I mean, Ian Clinton has done Archie comics as well, so that's a good thing. Yeah. And it was right after Ken Penders just fucking left, and had to just. And then a few years later, he had to fucking ruin everything. Thank you, Ken Pender. Go fuck yourself. Go to hell. I hope you do that, you bastard. Hey, I don't I own the idea of Knuckles having a dad? <laughs> I. I'm sorry, I don't, I, I don't know, like, I think we can all agree, that guy deserves to go to hell. <laughs> Look, he, he ruined everything for Sonic for a good bit. Mostly the comics, of course, we're just saying that. Yeah, I have not and been possibly, comics, so. And possibly, and possibly, Dark Chronicles. Wait, 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 Dark Chronicles, wait, what's Dark Chronicles again, actually? You guys remember that? The DS one? Wait, did he, there was, oh, you, you mean Rush? Uh. No. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm saying, like, I swear there was a few more DS games, but I'm pretty sure, like, there's only the Rush trilogy. What were we talking about again? Sonic Frontiers? You mean, yeah. the Rush, you mean the Rush duology and Colors on the Ultimate? Colors Ultimate! Can you imagine a tree? Colors get on the Ultimate! Oh my god! I would have made Sonic Colors Ultimate worse! They have the fucking 3DS! No, the PS. <laughs> no, put it on the Game Boy Advance. Put it on the PS Vita. It won't sell. Okay, I think they even got. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like they even got Dragon Gator to start laughing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's. I'm probably saying his name wrong, but that's the name of the a Dragon Ryuji has, aka Meat. <laughs> Right. Well, I've been all that, but there is actually still making up fan cartridge of Sonic Adventure on the DS. It's rough around the edge of times in development, but it's kind of impressive for how he's able uh, to do it so far. I guess it could work. Anyway, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, whatever, like. I mean. Okay, okay, gameplay, okay game, gameplay for Sonic Frontiers. It'll be like the yes. What? As much as, I, as much as I laugh at that, I can actually see that happen. Also, what about <laughs> Sonic Hate in the Dark Brotherhood? What? Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry, like, I feel like... Yeah. I think, I don't remember that thing, I, that sounds like a, like a myth. No, seriously, I actually played that though. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get through the first I'm, fucking I'm, level most of the time though. I think I'm trying, because I remember trying it out, but that was a long time ago. And then, don't well, it's an RPG, thing. but... Uh, who cares? Who cares about myth? I mean, they, I mean, they exist. I mean, it's. I, mean, I think it exists. I think I played it before. Get off topic. Like, get back to Sonic Frontier because we're. Yeah. Jesus, yeah, how long topic were we? All we did was talk about the story. <laughs> okay, gameplay. Like and then I saying. came up with an epic idea yes. for Sonic Colors Ultimate on the DS. Yes. yes. <clears throat> Which Gentlemen, back to back to Square Two. <laughs> the end right. And talk about this. Okay. No one's gonna know what he's talking about. Moving anyway, on. back to anyways, gameplay. What about what's your opinion? Mm, uh, looks promising, I guess. It looks alright to me. I mean, I'm thinking it might work. I'm still not sure how perfect it will be because it has like RPG like elements. Yeah. With, with the level it up and all that stuff. So. I mean, actually, that's, that's I'm sorry to interrupt you, son, again, but that's another thing I saw is it seems like it's gonna be very easy to. We collect runes when you take damage because you take you lose a some amount of runes that you can collect it. But you can use you can still use a light dash on the runes to collect them all up again. Uh, okay, exactly. Are you sure it's an ability that you unlock later though? Uh, 
I don't know. Apparently, it's about to have like the starts, but no one, but it never gave me the instructions. And I've only heard, I've never seen that. So but it's a myth. We'll probably. see. We'll, we'll see. I don't. It, I wouldn't say but myth. That's... More so from a play te from someone who actually played the games in the. Yeah, yeah but like we don't know for sure. And also another thing is, I actually have seen this. The, you know the blue boost that has popped up recently, where you do a couple of side loops and you you have a big and infinite boost after that. What? Have you seen that? No. Look, I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I have been avoiding gameplay footage for just to do myself with the prize. But you're not even mind the game. Are you right, Rachel? Did you? He said Are you like, kidding me, Macho? I said I'm, I was only talking about the pre-order. I was not saying I'm not buying it. So how are you? So how are you how do you how do you live? So are you gone? So you're gonna buy it when it comes out? Retro, uh, this one, uh, I, I lost. I just lost are track you? with it. I, I'm lost. I'm lost. I think we need to. Should we just save Fr Frontiers for another time or what? Yeah. Or or should we just finish okay. really? Yeah, uh, basically we do. We've been a... talking for long okay, enough, so, I believe. So yeah. quickly, if you do a couple, of, if you do, a, I'll just I, say I, it now. If you do a couple of side loops, loops fast enough, that song goes into the Sonic movie cutscene ten with the. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen that. And then and then you have infinite boost for a short time, and Sonic goes really fast, which does look fun. But I also saw, but what I was trying to say was, I saw a couple of side loops. If you do a big enough side loop. You could you could just get three rings, like a couple of ten rings, like oh, you know those so one ten rings tens, a couple of those. Okay. So I'm not sure if there'd probably be a limit on that, but I don't know. It looks like three rings. So can we just like. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let's just finish this bitch up because Jesus, I think this is I think this bloodcast was a mistake actually at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm basically trying to do multiple topics at once. So silver just. Uh, talk about the gameplay, please. Just tell me. It looks looks yeah. good. That looks fine. I. I mean, I'm interested in playing the, against the bosses. I mean, at least it doesn't feel like you just Super Sonic hit, looks hey, fun. Hey, hit though. the guy. You're done. Hey, at least it feels like you need to do uh, a good strategy. I give one thing props to it. At least it's making the interest in enemies. Mm. I'm not. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about the one about going through the blue tints and going up there, but I will say it is different from the other boost boss. To be honest, I mean, I've seen one I, I just hope it's not going to be reused a couple of times, if I'm going to be honest. It feels like a good first boss, but nothing more. Yeah. Look, I mean, that is hopefully not the case. Like, I really do hope everything I've seen is literally at the beginning. I really hope that's the case. Regardless, back to if the only other thing is, I think it might be interesting to see how Sonic could level up. Yeah. Other than that, I guess... I guess I did. I probably enjoy it more than Breath of the Wild, just because Sonic is faster and and. Not then again, he could play. He could, Retro could play Grand Theft Auto if he wanted. That's that was a true thing, but I don't know if I've really caught on to Grand Theft Auto just yet. Mm. I think it's just because I feel like it's just because of Sonic yeah. Dreads being the hype and everything, but yeah. it feels a rough around the edges. Yeah, so and I feel like it's just. I say I say Grand Theft Auto Five is where. Uh, you, it, it's the one that's the most fun to mess around in, considering the more tight controls and the and physics. You yep. get copyrighted music. Uh, yeah, there's copyrighted music. Oh, gosh, copyrighted so music. anyway, and no one, and no one in the Let's Play ever shuts off the radio. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? We, what you mean? We do. We do. It's not like we clearly forget it sometimes. Uh, look how you have twenty. It's, it, it's on. not like we enjoy the music. I mean. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Sometimes, like, there's some bad ones really there. Yeah. Yeah. I do enjoy some of the music. It's, <laughs> when music is music, I'm not a huge fan of all the music, which is weird to say, but. I just can't yeah. believe I just can't believe we just met this episode. Yeah. So, your opinion, Look How Yucks? I, I, I think you already uh, said it. Don't care. Sorry, but hey. Yeah. yeah. Not into it. But either way, uh, yeah, I don't, know what, I don't know what else to say about this game. Yeah. I'm gonna buy it, I'm just. Not going to pre-order it. Why buy but not pre-order? If you're I didn't buy say it. that. Oh my god! No, so I'm you not always my energy anymore. So are you going to pre-order then? That's the reason. No. <sighs> so yeah, I, you didn't... I, are you going to buy the game used or new? Did I just did, did you just hear what I just said? You said you to know, me to find out. I said only for me to know and to find out. So basically, you don't know. Yes, and no. Oh my god, I can't believe I made this mistake. 
Okay, let's. Okay, I'll I, this. I, I, I can't believe it. I kidnapped you guys, and now you're making me question my life. I guess that I have yeah. just. Okay. I think this. Hey, flex, hey, I, I think hey. this flex stick door was a mistake. You know what? No, screw it. You guys can get out. Okay, you're free. See, I'm gonna open this I door. I was gonna ask you to get your Gundam to bust us out of here, but it seems like Shimoda is questioning his life choices, so he's letting us go. Well, you know, actually, I was I wanted was to have a conversation about that. coming up with some game ideas for original actually, things, but you know what? Know. Let's do that. Okay, that's be better. This is the end of the episode. I'm gonna see you later. Goodbye, everybody. If you like this episode, please watch, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel only. Okay, bye.